Yum, yum. So I'll give you a simple example with uh, something that if you do any motion graphics, you've had to do once. The stacking blocks of type. It can be time consuming when you have to animate each one and animate the bounces. With the uh, Newton, it's really, really very easy and you can get a very interesting result mixing it with Element 3D for After Effects, which you should have also, if I may say so. So here I have my four blocks of type and we're going to keep the uh, text together for this one. And I'm going to go to... Uh, I'm going to go to Newton and just keep the, the ground static. I'm going to pull back a little. And you can also adjust the position of those uh, of your elements directly in the, in the interface here. So I already have my keyframes ready so I can do a first simulation here, except I didn't set they were going to be kinematic. So starting over, so that's pretty good. I think we could make the Gravity a little stronger. Maybe a little more bounciness also. So that's pretty good. Let me get closer. I want to see. Yeah, see some of the some of the type intersect with each other. So now, to it's not a question of uh, mesh precision. It's more a question, uh, something you re change with the solver. So we'll, from experience, you can go a decent size for something like this. So let's go to six. And I think it's pretty good. Let's start over. All right, so I don't want to spend too much time on this. It, you can play with it forever. So, But you see it's really simple to play and get results. No crashing. Excellent. So let me do one more thing. I want to see how many frames I need. It's like 120 or something. Let's do 130. Doesn't really matter. And I'll render it. So now we have a new composition with the, the animation we just simulated. And there's one thing I want to fix, which is the, the exposition of uh, all the blocks because they're not perfectly lined up at the end. So the way to do that is for to expose the position, keyframes, make sure we're at the beginning, separate dimensions, and erase the exposition keyframes. And now, they're perfectly aligned at the end also. I'm going to stop it here. So now, onto element. We don't need the ground anymore. We can just hide it. We're going to create a new solid. Call it element. Color doesn't matter. Put it up there. 
effect. Where is it? All the way down. Element. In the scene setup, we're going to use custom layers. And for path, you can choose your text layers here. So we have path layer one, we're going to use get A, path layer two, taste of three. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Pixel. And fondue. And now go to scene setup. So ne this is not an uh, Element 3D tutorial, but uh, you can find all that on on the web. But you'll see if you have not used it, you'll see that uh, just for type purposes, it's very useful. So we're going to go there and go to extrude, and we get the first path, which is path one. You don't get to see exactly what it is, you have to know in advance. So we want to extrus extrusion to be a little deeper. So where is it? Uh, here. Let's do four. Right, let's not too much spend too much time on this. So I'll rename this and now duplicate it. Put the first one that's in group one. This one I'm gonna put in group two. Extrusion model, we're going to get custom path to so taste off and we get the same uh, extrusion. Rename it again. Duplicate group three, extrusion path three. And then finally, group four, extrusion, custom path four. And we're going to add yet another group, which we're going to go separate also. Put it in five and add a plane which we're going to scale to get the shadows. So you see, you can only see one at the time. I forgot to rename this. Most important one, fondue. And click OK. I mean, you can spend time with the materials and the environment. You, know, you can change the, the environment map if you want. But as I said, it's not an Element 3D tutorial per se. So say OK. And you have all your type piled up together. We're going to fix that. So first, we're going to get create a new camera. Put it on top, okay. Now in element, each group is separate and we're gonna create a null to control it. And then we're gonna go to the end of this simulation, the last keyframe. So what we want to do is line up all the 3D type with the, the original text. So just the position, the, the X position. So we're just going to make and make all those 
3D and go to front view will be easier. Here we go. Okay, then uh, let's keep those different color. Then we're going to parent each one to their text. Well, I guess the order changed here a little. So that goes to get A, that's done. Taste off, pixel. Fondue. And then take the camera and then we're going to add another null. make it 3D as well. I'm just going to put it, call it control and parent all those text layers to it. And now we can hide them and that control we're going to Rotate. And then maybe move the camera a bit. You can see that the ground plane needs to be moved. So well, we may as well create a group now also for it. And for better quality render, just going to add a light here. So it's a 3D After Effects light. You can also use uh, some element lights, but uh, this is really a basic setup. And you have your text animation in 3D. See, I didn't see something there that I uh, should have fixed in the in Newton, but I can fix it now. This is taste off. I can check the X. Z rotation, sorry. I can make this a little bigger. So we say we're good here. And we are good here. So we can see if we get rid of those keyframes. Yeah, that works. So I'll try to do that without uh, any physics. And you can, but you'll spend quite a lot of time and you won't get the results you need. And you can also re simulate and reparent the text uh, as many times as you, you would like. And this is still live, meaning if I want to change. this text you 
still have your animation. Of course, if it's much longer, it's going to be different, but... And then you can add materials, make it shiny, make it more interesting. So that's for the basics for rigid body dynamics, but, but there's also a lot of things you can do based on this uh, simulation to create some fake soft body dynamics, and uh, I'll cover that in the next video, hopefully not too long from now. All right, enjoy Newton. Yum, yum!